okay, Lammy. You're so good. High five. Yeah. And then we'll notice within about 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. you'll see her not angry. She's not okay. upset. She was diagnosed about two and a half, three years old with epilepsy. You guys didn't get to see what she was like for those two years that she was taking the medicine, but you see her now running around like yeah. nonstop, and it's just night and day difference. Started my journey with my then two-year-old daughter. Her name is Emerson, and she was newly diagnosed with epilepsy. It was not in her best interest to continue with pharmaceuticals. And so I started doing my research on what was available in Illinois, what was legal in Illinois, and found my way to the Illinois Medical Cannabis Community. When I share the story of what was happening to her while she was on all of these prescribed drugs, that it took away her speech, it took away her motor skills, it made her just be a zombie, and then show them a video of her running and playing at her house, going down the slide, singing a song in the back of the van, when we started pharmaceuticals, she was stripped of all of her speech. Um, her cognitive was very drastically impacted. Her fine motor skills was drastically impacted. Um, she regressed in a very concerning way. Just because the doctors say, take this drug, she needs this drug, it's not always the case. Do the research, there's always alternatives, and this is the best alternative for my daughter. All anyone can say is, wow, wow, I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't know that that could be the result of it. At one point, they were wanting to put her on three different medications, as if the effects from the first two weren't bad enough. Let's throw in a third. And I said, no. But I got a question one time from a lady that, do you know what it's doing to your daughter? Yeah, it's giving her life back. You know. So there is such a stigma with using cannabis that obviously people think that my four-year-old is smoking a joint or eating some edible, and that's absolutely not the case. What Emerson is using is an RSO oil that she takes uh, sublingually on the end of a toothpick about the size of a grain of rice. This has no high involved or the typical high that you would associate with cannabis. So she's able to get all of the benefits of cannabis and that very tiny bit of THC without ever experiencing any type of high. Um, what that means for Emerson is that her brain is able to calm down. Part of epilepsy is a constant misfiring of nerves in the brain, and that's what's thought to cause seizures. So when we dose Emerson with her medication, you see an immediate relaxation. It's never high, it's never, you know, munchies or anything associated with cannabis. It's just feeling better, being better and being able to do more as a four-year-old little girl. 10 years ago, my view on marijuana, it was a gateway drug. If my wife would have sat there and just took the advice of the doctors and we would have just went straight to pharmaceuticals, she wouldn't be running around here, she wouldn't be playing. We had her in swimming class this winter and that would have never, never happened. I never knew how deep and how far the reach of cannabis went in terms of medical treatment. So I really had no concept going into it, but now knowing it can help so many people, I will shout it from the rooftops so long as I live. She's talking, she's singing, she's doing so many amazing things and I know wholeheartedly that it is completely due to cannabis. I see this little girl come back to life. She's like a flower that is blooming and continues to bloom. And to uh, watch her talking and saying her colors and running, climbing, riding a bike, um, inquisitive and want to be asking questions. She's a busy, active little girl, but you know what? Praise God for the CBD oil that's bringing this little girl back. I think my hopes would be enough um, education and outreach and sharing with the community at large what this truly does, that it's not somebody getting high. You're not giving your child or your loved one a drug to make them high. It's giving, you're giving them a life-saving option. 
I think people should be more open-minded to it and try it. I mean, my daughter was two and a half, three years old when we started her giving her marijuana. So if I can do it, most people could probably do it.